All right, class, welcome back. Uh, this is lesson 2.2, .2, and this is all about adding integers. Don't forget to write your name on the side here, and then today's date. Okay, so uh, last lesson we saw that we can represent uh, positive and negative integers uh, symbolically, and what we said is we're going to use like little yellow dots that will be equal to our positive integers, and little red dots, those will be our negative integers. So when we add, we um, have to add two numbers together, such as plus 3 and plus 5. We can show the addition just by combining the dots. So something like this. So if I've got three positive dots, and then I want to add to that five positive dots. Three, four, five. Uh, that, that really just adds up to be... Eight positive dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now this is pretty straightforward. Uh, I know that you all know that three plus five is eight, but we can do the same thing uh, with positives and negatives when we combine them together. So just remember that a positive dot and a negative dot will combine to make a zero pair. So a plus and a minus will combine together to make zero. So adding positive integers is really straightforward like we just saw. For example, if we want to do positive 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there's my little positive 5, I want to add to that positive 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's plus 4. Then I can just add them up and that makes positive 9. But what if I have some negatives? For example, uh, we're going to add negative 6 and positive 9. So negative 6, uh, negative 6 would be 6 of these little negative red dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if I want to add to that <clears throat> positive 9, then I'll have 9 yellow dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now when I add these together, what you'll notice is that each of these little combos here is making a zero pair. So each of those is, is going to cancel each other out. Each of those negatives is going to cancel out one positive. And the question becomes, well, what are we left over with? Well, in this case, we're just left over with three positives, so our answer would be positive 3. When we add two negative integers, uh, it works kind of similar to our two positives. So if we want to add negative 3, then I'm going to do my 1, 2, 3 negatives. And negative 7 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 negatives. And if I want to add these two things together, then I just count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And my answer is negative 10. I, in this case, nothing cancels out because they're both negative. Okay, so let's look at this example. Uh, the temperature in Vancouver rises 5 degrees Celsius and then falls 8 degrees Celsius. Represent the above sentence with dots and then find the overall change in temperature. So what we want to notice is that when we say rises 5 degrees um, Celsius, what we really mean by that, if we want to think of that as an integer, rising meaning going up, that would be plus 5. And then falls 8 degrees Celsius, falling going down means negative 8. So if I want to add these two things together to find my overall change, I can do that by representing them with integers. Uh, my positive 5 would be 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of these yellow dots. So there's my plus 5. And minus 8 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of the negatives. And again, each time we have a zero pair that lines up, I can basically just cancel those out because that's what's going to happen. And what I'm left over with in this case, I've got three negatives left over, so my answer would just be negative three. And that's it. All right, don't forget to do the recap and then you're all done.